Hey everybody, today we're gonna to make something for one of my favorite children's book, The Rainbow Fish. So come swim along with us and let's go make one. This is all you're gonna need for your rainbow fish. Pencil, black marker, three sets of rounded brush, big, medium, small, watercolors, a little bit of um, water, your watercolor paint pad, some paper towel, that's it, let's go outlining our beautiful rainbow fish. I always like to start with the eyes. So we're gonna do one circle and then a little circle on the inside, just like that. Now let's start with the outline of the body. So I'm gonna start from here, go all the way up kind of like a sunset and stop. And it's gonna be a little bit like a football is the shape of the body. We're gonna to go to the other side of the tail all the way around and stop. Now we're going to start with the mouth. The rainbow fish is slightly smiling like that. Kind of looks like a goldfish at this point. Now we're going to go and do our little lip and then we're going to do a bottom lip. And he has a little smirk here. It's a little smile right there. Take our eraser and we can erase kind of the lines here. Okay, now let's start with our tail. So we're gonna go up, curve all the way down and around. Swish, swish, perfect. Now we're going to do his front fin. So we're gonna start here. It's a little bit curved, it's not pointy, and curves back up. Kind of looks like the top of a surfboard or like a shark fin. We're gonna do a smaller one in the back. Wee! Perfect! And a little fin here. Okay, now we just need the top fin and we're ready. So we're gonna do a curve, like a backwards C. Curve on up, a little bump, and connects right above the eyeball. Perfect, pause this if you need to. So now we're going to cup the face with little bubbles. Two, three, four, and then a big one on the bottom. Five, just like that. Now, when I did this class for my kids, they were like, the scales, they're so hard. There's so many scales. Look, how do we do things that are difficult? One step at a time. So don't distress. Let's just do one scale at a time. Connect, there you go. So it's a semicircle, and you just do one scale at a time. I'm doing my scales a little bit bigger because I found that it's easier to paint. And it comes out just as beautiful you don't get so stressed out about doing 57 scales. So let's keep those scales big. And here in the corners, you just draw little lines connecting. Just like that. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Now there's some squigglies in the fins. Squigglies kind of look like party string. And these little details really make it look like the book cover. And that makes all the difference in the details. There you go. So now we're just gonna start with our watercolor. We're gonna start with the big brush first. Now the rainbow fish, it's all blues, turquoises, purples, but they kind of blend. So I'm gonna have them bleed into each other. So a little trick here is I want you to wet, not the face, all the fish scales in the middle, just that part. We're gonna wet it first, just like that. Now I want you to take your brush, wet it again, and go for a light blue. And see how it just sort of bleeds in all around. Now let's go for a darker blue on a different scale. So we're gonna have, these don't have to be one by one perfect because this is our version of rainbow fish. I'm going for a navy now. So all these colors are gonna kind of ble bleed into each other. Light blue again. 
And the trick is you want to leave one scale for the rainbow. So which scale are you going to leave? I'm going to leave this one right here. So I'm not going to touch that. But if a little bit of color bleeds into it, that's okay. Now I'm going to take some purple. Bleed into here. Got to clean that up a little bit. And I'm going to take a lighter purple and go up top here. Okay. I'm going to take, you know what? I'm going to add in a little pink because you know what? Why not? I love pink. So I'm going to, you can add in a little bit of a different color. That's okay. Rinse that out. I'm going to take a clean brush and kind of dry that off because I don't want anything in this scale because that's going to be my rainbow scale. Now I'm going to take some more blue, fill in here. It bleeds in a little bit. That's okay. Okay. I'm going to take some dark blue for the edge. And I'm going to take some purple for back here. I'm going to do a dark plum purple down back here. Oh, so pretty. Watercolor really is a magical thing. A little bit of light blue here. Okay, perfect. Now for these, I'm going to take a bright purple and I'm going to do the bottom fin, all bright purple. And then the fin right next to it, I'm going to do a darker shade purple because things in the back tend to be darker than the front and that's just lighting. Okay, up here, I'm going to do some purple and then I'm going to bleed that into some blue. So I'm going to add some water and see how that kind of blends nicely. There we go. Perfect. For the back fin, I'm going to do a deeper blue and purple. So I'm going to start with this dark purple like that. Now I'm going to take a darker blue and I'm going to do another line, nice and watery, so they blend together. Then I'm going to do a little bit of a lighter navy blue right here, doing a bit of a gradient really. And then I'm going to take some bright blue for the edge. Perfect. And for this little guy, let's just use that same color blue. Why not? Perfect. Now for the face, it's a very light blue. So I'm going to use the same tone of light blue, but I'm going to water it down and not put as much pigment on it so it's not so dark. And see how I'm kind of doing like little circles? That helps blend it really nicely. So cute. Perfect. For the mouth, I'm going to use the smallest brush and I'm going to do a golden yellow for the lips so they really pop out. Okay, and for the center of the eye, I'm going to do a really dark, dark blue. Just like that, okay. Then I'm gonna take this smaller brush, some dark blue, and I'm going to outline some of these scales. Just like that, I'm going over the pencil really, is what I'm doing. And I'm not doing it on all of them. This is just to give it a little bit of dimension. We're still going to outline it with black Sharpie. Let's see how that gives it a little like pop. Looks really nice. And I'm going to take some purple and do some outlines as well. Perfect. Love it. Now I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to come in with some black Sharpie and a little bit of white sparkle. 
So pause this and we'll be back. Okay, and we're back. All I did was wait for it to dry, outlined it with the black marker wherever the pencil was, and now I'm gonna show you a little trick. You can add any sparkles you have for that one special scale. Um, you don't even need glue, so just take this, wet your brush, add some white paint here, and wet that scale with some white paint. It almost looks a little transparent just bleeding some of the other colors. And this sparkle will actually stick to that paint, kind of like glue. So this is sort of a glue-free option for you. I always put my sparkle in the cap so it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna put the excess over here. I'm gonna take a dry little brush and I am going to spread this sparkle out right on that scale so it doesn't bleed into anything else and i am going to let it dry and then i'm going to tap off the excess so go ahead do that and then let's meet back to see how it looks so here you can see how my rainbow fish looks after i tap the excess sparkles off in the trash can not on the desk let's help mom and dad out there you just see it's just so pretty how it sparkles and glitters. I am going to add some bubbles with my medium brush. So let's wet that, take some of this blue, and the beauty of the rounded brush is it's already rounded, so you don't really have to work on doing a little circle too much. And then I'm gonna take my bigger brush with that same blue and make kind of like dabs like that the bubbles get a little bit bigger. I'm going to add some more color here. Some other little dabs everywhere. And these are going to be my little bubbles. And then on the other side here, I'm going to add even more bubbles coming out. Just little circles, some big, some small, some dark, some light. And that's just gonna kind of fill up your page pretty. Ooh, this one's going on the refrigerator. That's for sure. There you have it. So you have your beautiful rainbow fish. Blub, 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 blub. Bye.